Hello everyone. Before we get started, I would like to give a shout out to one of my newest members. Thank you Riley Lim for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Riley made a video on Lambert W function. Make sure to check it out. Members are giving shout outs in my videos and they also get to see the thumbnail before the video premieres. So let's get started. We have x squared plus y squared equals 4 and we are supposed to maximize the expression 3x plus 4y. So we're going to be using an interesting identity to maximize this expression. We could also use derivatives here, but we're going to be using a different approach. So here's what I'd like to introduce. We have the following identity, ax plus by quantity squared. And this kind of makes sense because we're trying to maximize something that looks like this, right? 3x plus 4y. And you can tell from here that a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4. So I'm going to add something that looks like this, but it's going to be slightly different. So I'm going to switch the coefficients of x and y. So it's going to look like this, bx, and I'm going to switch the sign. And you'll, you'll see in a little bit why I'm doing this. So when you expand the first one, you're going to be getting a squared x squared plus 2axby plus b squared y squared. And the second one is going to give you b squared x squared minus 2abxy. I'm just going to write it that way. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. And plus a squared y squared. Now, what's really critical here is that these terms cancel out. And that leaves us with something factorable. So let's go ahead and factor that. a squared x squared plus a squared y squared is going to give me a squared times the quantity x squared plus y squared. And then the other two terms, b squared y squared and b squared x squared, can be factored as b squared times x squared plus y squared. And then, since x squared plus y squared is a common factor, we can also pull that out. Let's go ahead and do that. And that's going to give me, and I would like to write the, probably the a and b first, a squared plus b squared multiplied by x squared plus y squared. Okay, great. Now this is interesting. First of all, we are adding two squares and then we're getting this product. Now what is so significant, you'll see in a little bit how useful this is to find the maximum value of our expression. But before that, I want to say something else about this expression because that's fairly interesting in my opinion. And please let me know what you think. Now, ax plus by is an expression. We're squaring it. So we're basically here. This is a sum of two squares. All right. And what about the factors? Well, a squared plus b squared is also a sum of two squares. And x squared plus y squared is also a sum of two squares. So if you take two numbers of the form a squared plus b squared, which is which means the sum of two squares, and multiply them, their product is also going to be a number in the same form. So I think that's kind of interesting, and it's a very important concept in number theory. If numbers that can be written as sum of two squares. Okay, let's see how we're going to use this in our expression. So I would like to take what I have first here. So I have 3x plus 4y, right? And I would like to take this expression, 3x plus 4y, and I'll, I want to square it. And to that, I want to add its counterpart. In this case, as you know, its counterpart is going to look like this, bx minus ay. So what we're doing here is basically switching the coefficients of x and y and changing the sign at the same time. So that's going to look like the following, 4x minus 3y quantity squared. Okay, so if you don't remember what this looks like, you can just go ahead and expand it and see what it's going to become. So this is going to be 9x squared plus 12 times 2 is 24xy plus 16y squared. And to that, I'm going to be adding 4x minus 3y quantity squared, which is going to be 16x squared minus 24xy plus 9y squared. And as you know, these terms are going to cancel out. And that's going to leave us with something nice. And I'm just going to write that here. Because notice that here we're adding 
9x squared and 16x squared. So that's going to give us 25x squared, which is cool, right? And then we have 16y squared plus 9 squared, which is going to give us 25y squared. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and see how we can use this. First of all, this is the expression. The first part is what I'm trying to maximize, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and write that first. And then the second expression, I'm going to use that in my, uh, you know, calculations. So that's a very helpful part. And then here, what I can do is I can just take out a 25 because they have a common factor. And of course, they're always going to have, have a common factor because we know that this is a factorable expression. So that's why we were able to get that. But since we know the values of a and b, we got a number in, instead of a sum because 25 is a squared plus b squared in this case. Make sense? Okay. Now, what am I going to do with this expression? Because my goal is to maximize this expression right here. So one of the things I can do is, first of all, notice that in the problem, we were given something. What was that? We were given x squared plus y squared. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and use it. Since x squared plus y squared is equal to 4, why not substitute it, right? Well, then it's going to give me 100. So let me go ahead and rewrite this. So this gives me 3x plus 4y quantity squared plus 4x minus 3y quantity squared. And 25 times 4 is going to be 100. So what am I going to do with this, right? Remember our goal. Always keep that in mind. We're trying to maximize the expression 3x plus 4y. So I think it would make sense if we isolated it, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's isolate 3x plus 4y quantity squared on the left-hand side and subtract 4x minus 3y quantity squared from both sides. So it's going to look like this when I do. Now, here's the million dollar question. We're trying to maximize 3x plus 4y. And how does this expression help us do that, right? Here's how, what we can do from here. First of all, this is the expression you're trying to maximize. But notice that it is 100 minus something. So what is that supposed to mean? Well, it's not just something. Notice that this expression cannot be negative if x and y are real numbers. So that's like a non-negative expression, which means it can be 0 or positive, right? So if you subtract something non-negative from 100, Either you're subtracting 0 or a positive quantity. That means you're going to get something 100 or less than 100. In other words, from here we can safely say that 3x plus 4y quantity squared is less than or equal to 100. And this is just awesome. Think about it. This is going to give us what we need. Go ahead and take the square root, use the absolute value business, and you're going to get that our expression is going to be between negative 1 and positive, I mean 10 and negative 10. And what this means is that the maximum value for our expression is going to be 10. And that's going to bring us, or this brings us, to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.